When I first got my mini lathe, one of the first things I tried to make was this wee peanut lighter. It worked, but not very well, so I decided to try making a better one. I made this new one a bit bigger and chunkier. One of the problems with the original was a striker wheel foul on the threads in the cap. I decided to make it out of stainless steel. I used 20 and 8mm bar stock for all of this. A piece of 20mm bar was faced and was in centre and step drill close to 13mm. I'm using the graduations on the tailstock ram to judge the depth. Then was bolt to 13mm diameter. My set of calipers doesn't measure inside diameters too accurately. I zeroed it on a 12mm inside bearing. A 16.5mm step was then turned onto the end of a bar, a bit over 5mm long. This step was going to be threaded, and a relief was needed for the thread to end in. For threading, the compound slide was set at 29 degrees. A 60 degree tool was set and the change gears were changed to cut a 0.8mm thread pitch. I didn't do too great a job cutting the threads. I made too heavy a cut and didn't have enough material left to clean it up. I then started work on the matching cap which was drilled out in a similar way to the body. Internal threading is done similar to external threading, just a bit harder to see what's happening. The step and chamfer were turned to better accommodate the o-ring. The inside was roughly turned close to its final outside dimension. Then the inside was drilled and bored out. The outside was then cut to be a careful close fit. The biggest problem I had with the original lighter was the insert acting like a piston and forcing most of the fuel out when pushed into the body. To prevent this I used a sideways parton tool and moved the carriage to cut three grooves along the insert. This will allow the air to escape around the parts as pushed in, rather than through the hole where the wick goes. The insert was then trimmed bit by bit. The rest of the bar was then hacksawed off and turned down. A small step was cut on the back side to make the part easier to remove from the lighter body. The two holes in the surface of the piece were marked out. The mandrel was turned to support it when punching the centers. I want to get these holes as square as possible, so I used the mandrel and a board of plywood to hold the part. Cling film was used as a shim to prevent the part from spinning freely on the mandrel. The cap and body were screwed together and turned with a centered 19mm diameter. Emery cloth was used to polish it a bit. A 5mm diameter was also turned onto the cap. The rest of the bar was cut off and the base was also turned to its final dimension. Separating the two after turning was difficult. The smooth sides were hard to get a grip on and I had to be careful not to gouge the surface. A hole was drilled for the keychain bit. The striker was turned from 8mm bar. The inside was drilled for an M3 tap. The top end was then turned carefully since there wasn't a lot of material to support it. A large chamfer was fouled on the end of the bar. The bar was then drilled radially. My first idea for cutting the slot was to hold the part in this steel block and cut it with a slitting saw. These saws are very cheap and don't run close to true, but whilst they work fine in brass, they don't work so great in stainless. Plan B was to grind down a needle file to a bit less than 3mm in width and use it to file the slot. Another file was also ground to widen the sides. 
The block for holding the part distorted slightly, so it was knocked back out of oval and retapped. The top end of the strike was stiff to be a tight press fit with the insert. This was then hammered in using some lead to protect it. The strike wheel is borrowed from another lighter. It might be cheating, but it's an awkward part to make. The pyrite spring, a long spacer slug and the grub screw were added to the bottom of the striker. The wick was cut from an old cotton tea towel and was shoved into the hole with the aid of a small nail. Cotton wool was then used for the wadding. Then the light was fueled up and reassembled. And it works! The keychain bit was made from a paper clip. That's the lighter finished. It turned out fairly well, although the striker is a bit of a mess. There should be a link to a diagram below if you think it's worth making on your own.